Welcome back everyone. This is Mindy Egan. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, we are going to be creating a sunset by the ocean. And I'm pairing this with the newly released American Bun stamp set from Picket Fence Studios. To start off, we're going to be doing a little Copic coloring. I already stamped my image onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. This is 80 pound. This is the American Bun stamp set from Picket Fence Studios. You can see it is just the back of the head and I had so many ideas for this once I got started. Here's a look at the colors that I'll be using. It is E27, E25, E23, and E21. This is the hair color combo that I'm going to be using. And to start off with, I'm going to kind of work in sections. The There are a lot of lines on here, so you really don't need to focus too hard on any type of light source. I'm mainly concerned with making sure there's a highlight area. Now, it may not be you know, in the right place of a highlight area, but I was really happy with how this turned out. And it did just give the hair a little bit more character, some highlights. So I started off with my darkest color, which is the E27. And you can see I'm just working in sections. That way I'm not confusing myself where my lines are. You can kind of see the way the hair is styled that some is laying on top of another part of the hair. So I do go back and add a darker line with an E29 later on. And that's just to, to give it a little bit more depth. I do like to color my images twice and that just helps kind of build those shadow areas a little bit. And this bun was just really fun to color. It is such a cute hairstyle. And Picket Fence Studios actually has some more of these in the store. This is uh, the American bun, which is part of the October 2019 release. And when I first saw it, I had colored it. I had die cut it out. And I tend to have a lot of different things on my desk, different backgrounds from you know something I previously created. And when I die cut this out and kind of tossed it on the side, it landed on top of an ink blended background that I had. And that's when it hit me. What I could do with this is I recently went to California and I was looking out over a balcony at not necessarily the sunset, but an ocean view. I had never seen the ocean before and I was just completely awestruck. I just stood there looking at the horizon you know, where the sky meets the ocean. It was just a beautiful, beautiful sight. And that's what I wanted to do for this image is I wanted to have it look like she was looking out over a balcony somewhere high up where she's looking out over uh, that balcony to the horizon. And that is how I came up with my card idea today. So I kind of tailored this after my experience. Now here I'm going in and I'm just doing the neckline. I am using E04, E, uh, E11, E21, and E00. And I'm adding my darkest area right under where the hair is kind of trickling down her neck a little bit. And then just filling in a little bit on the bottom. So then once I am done coloring this in, I want to make sure I'm getting that close enough down to the bottom because I, I couldn't remember how far that die cut out. So I wanted to make sure that was all colored in. Then I'll go ahead and line up the coordinating die and I'll hold that in place with some purple tape. I like to make sure that my purple tape is not touching my image a lot just in case uh, anything sticks a little bit too much. It's not going to ruin my image. Now, once that's done, I am taking a, another piece of Nina Solar White cardstock, 80 pound. This is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm masking off a portion of my card. I am uh, masking off just a small area using the lines on my grid mat to line up that masking tape so it's really nice and straight. And I'm going to ink blend my sky. So I'm using scattered straw, dried marigold, picked raspberry, and wilted violet distress oxides. And I'm starting off with that scattered straw right in the middle, uh, kind of where the sun would be if this were a sunset or it is a sunset, so that's where I put my sun. And then I'm coming in with the dried marigold. Now this is very similar to my Copic coloring where I'm doing just a light layer because that is how 
you get a really nice smooth blend is by layering your inks. So if you don't want a really dark background, make sure you're starting really, really light. Just go really light handed. Don't put a lot of pressure on your brushes. So that was my first layer finishing that wilted violet. Now I did kind of go over that a little bit more and I pushed down harder and then I'm coming back in with that second layer. So the picked raspberry, the dried marigold, and the scattered straw. And I'm just really working those blends so that they have a nice transition, which is really easy to do with the life-changing blender brushes from Picket Fence Studios. So I did kind of go back over that wilted violet just a little bit to make sure that was a smooth blend. And then I'll remove my post-it tape and we're going to have a really nice crisp line here at the bottom. This post-it tape doesn't leave any sticky residue behind, which is good because we are going to ink blend that bottom portion. So using that same piece of post-it tape, I'm going to line that up right to the edge of where my horizon is. And I'm going to ink blend the water. I'm starting with Salty Ocean, and I'm just using that as a base coat for the entire part. And then I'm going to come in with Blueprint Sketch, and I'm adding that just right at the tippy top there of my horizon line. Now, when I go to remove my post-it tape, you're going to see that I did not line it up very well. I have a little bit of a white line there. So I just went back in, I relined that up, and I covered that back up with the Blueprint Sketch. And even if there is a little bit of a white line, it kind of reminds me of... Uh, just like the foam on the top of the water. So I was okay with that. So this worked out beautiful. Now I'm going to add a little bit of splatter. So I'm taking just a white piece of paper, laying that over my water. And this is the rose gold metallic ink from Hero Arts. I kind of put a couple drops off on the side, mixed it with some water, and then picked it up with a paintbrush. And I'm sprinkling that all over my background and it's going to leave a gorgeous shimmer to this. Now, once that is completely dry, I am taking this new set, and this is called I Freaking Love You, and it is a really fun set. And I'm going to stamp this at the top of my background. Uh, that is another thing is, if you haven't visited Picket Fence Studios before, definitely check out their sentiments. They have some really fun, sassy sentiments that just they're just really a lot of fun and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. So be sure to check those out while you're over there. So I line this up in my Misty and I'm stamping this with a VersaFine ink. The reason I'm using VersaFine, it is a really thick, uh, really thick ink that is just really crisp and black and it's great for stamping on top of oxide backgrounds. So then I just applied some foam squares to the back of my die cut image and I'm going to just line that up on my background. And so I really love this. Like she's gazing out over the ocean in for the sunset. I just love this and thinking of all the different kinds of backgrounds you could make, whether it's forest or by a stream. I mean, there's so many different ideas that you could do with this. I hope you enjoyed today's card tutorial. If you would like to see more of my videos, be sure to click the thumbs up button that tells YouTube that you do enjoy my channel. And if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell to be notified of when new videos are posted. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.